Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, we are going through the grade 12 mathematics literacy paper one that was written in June 2021. In today's video tutorial, we are going to be focusing on question 3.2, right? And question 3.2 is probability. Before we get started with the video tutorial, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and reach more learners that are struggling with mathematics or even learners that just want to better their mathematics marks. And also, please make sure that you share the video tutorial with your friends. So without any further ado, let us get started with today's video tutorial. <laughs> so like i said guys on today's video tutorial we are going to be covering question 3.2 and question 3.2 covers probability right and i'm actually going to do a full video tutorial on just a summary on the probability section and just everything that you need to know when it comes to probability so that video tutorial will also be coming up on the channel so please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel all right so guys what is probability before we even get started with analyzing this question let us just define a probability right so probability is the likelihood that something will happen all right it is the likelihood that something will happen all right and there is a formula that is used to calculate the probability of something happening right so a probability in mathematical terms is is equal to the number of favorable outcomes so the outcomes that you want or the outcomes that you are asked for divided by the number of possible outcomes right so the total possible outcomes that you are given okay so we've defined probability i've given you guys the mathematical definition or the mathematical terms of probability and now let us actually have a look at this question and see what it is asking us all right so in probability you can determine the possible outcomes by using a tree diagram right as well as using a two-way table right so in this past paper you are asked to determine possible outcomes by making use of a tree diagram right so let's just have a look at this uh, tree diagram and just look at the information that we are given in the tree uh, diagram and see how that information will help us answer the questions that are asked right so question 3.2 says that the tree diagram below shows the different options available for the candles that will be sold okay and then this repeats the tree diagram for the different candle options, right? So you've got two candle options here. So that's your cylindrical candle and your horse head candle, okay? And you also have the different color options, okay, that you can choose from when you choose these candles. So if you go for a cylindrical candle, the two colors that you can choose from is white and gold, right? And if you go for the horse head candle, the two colors that you can choose from is white and black, all right? So let's have a look at the decoration options that you are given, okay? So you can choose to have a ribbon in your candle or you can choose to not have a ribbon, okay? And we're given the final outcome or the outcome for each of these events, okay? So let's have a look at how we can read this tree diagram, right? Okay, so... Basically, in reading your tree diagram, you follow your arrows like that, okay, to get to your outcome. So, there are eight possible outcomes that you can get from buying your candles, okay, with a certain color and with a certain decoration, okay. So, let us have a look at how these outcomes are determined, okay. So, the first outcome, to get the first outcome, 
obviously if you buy a cylindrical candle you get the option of two colors which is white or gold right and you get the option of two decorations which is with a ribbon or without a ribbon okay if you get a cylindrical candle the four outcomes that you can get are as follows okay so the first one is that you get a cylindrical candle that is white with a ribbon right so the outcome is c w r c stands for cylindrical w stands for white and r stands for ribbon okay the second outcome that you'll get is a cylindrical candle that is white with no ribbon so c w n n stands for no ribbon okay and if you also get a cylindrical candle but that is but one that is gold you also get two options um for the gold cylindrical candle right so you can get a cylindrical candle with a ribbon right a cylindrical candle that is gold with the ribbon or you can get a cylindrical candle that is gold with no ribbon so c g n g stands for gold n stands for no ribbon okay let us have a look at the options that you will have other possible outcomes you will get if you go for a horse head candle so if you go for a horse head candle you can either get a horse head candle that is white with a ribbon so h w r or a horse head candle that is white with no ribbon h w n okay and lastly if you go for a black horse head candle you can choose a black horse head candle that a horse head candle that is black with what is missing here that is what we need to calculate or a horse head candle that is black with no ribbon okay and we need to get the outcome that is why okay so let us have a look at the questions use the tree diagram above to answer the questions that follow write down the description for x and y so we need to find what this x is and we also need to find what the y stands for okay so like we mentioned for your decorations you only get two options it can either be a rib you can either get a ribbon with your candle or you can get a candle with no ribbon right so same thing with the missing or the unknown value there right so that is you can either get a ribbon or no ribbon so since you already have no ribbon yeah that means that the value x is ribbon okay and then what is the missing outcome right so if you buy a horse head candle that is black you get two options a ribbon or no ribbon right so we said that with this outcome here you've got a horse head candle that is black right with a ribbon so it's h b r right and then here you've got a horse head candle that is black with no ribbon so your r is h h for horse head b for black okay and n for no ribbon okay so those are your missing values okay so let us put all this information on our answer sheet okay so 3.1 like we mentioned use the tree diagram above to answer the questions that follow write down the script uh, write down the description for x and y so 3.2.1 a okay so 3.2.1 a x is equal to ribbon which is r okay and lastly y y is equal to the horse head candle that is black with no ribbon so it's h b n okay let us continue write down the probability of buying any candle with a ribbon as a percentage so now we need to use the probability formula to calculate the probability of buying any candle with a ribbon okay so now how will we answer this question what do we need to focus on to answer this question so we are going to go to the tree diagram okay and we are going to circle all the outcomes that have a ribbon okay so we're going to look at our tree diagram we're going to go to our outcomes column and we're going to circle all the outcomes that have a ribbon okay so all the outcomes that have an 
R at the end, okay? So that is the first outcome with an R. That is the other outcome with an R. That is another outcome with an R. And that is the other outcome with an R, okay? So once we've circled all the outcomes that have the ribbon, because you want to write down the probability of buying any candle with a ribbon, right? So once we've circled all those outcomes, then we write down the formula for probability. And what is the formula for probability? Probability is equal to, okay? So this is just um, the formula for probability. So probability is equal to the number of favorable outcomes, okay? Or the number of the outcomes that you want divided by the possible outcomes, Okay, divided by the possible outcomes or the number of possible outcomes. Okay, so let's go to our tree diagram. Okay, firstly, what does the question want us to find? It wants us to find the probability of buying any candle with a ribbon. Okay, so that is what we need to focus on. Okay, so that is the number of favorable outcomes or what we want. Okay, we want to find the probability of buying any candle with a ribbon. Okay, so that is our favorable outcomes or the outcomes that we want. So from here, like I mentioned, you basically have to circle all the outcomes that involve a ribbon. And how many are they? There's one, two, three, four. So the favorable outcome is four. Okay, so I'm just going to write probability of buying any candle with a ribbon. Okay, probability of buying a candle with a ribbon is equal to, so the number of favorable outcomes is 1, 2, 3, 4, all over the number of possible outcomes. So what are the possible outcomes that are there? Or what are the total outcomes? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so the probability of buying any candle with a ribbon is 4 over 8 but now they want you to get this answer as a percentage okay so how can you get this as a percentage we can just simply obviously simplify this further 4 goes into itself once and it goes into 8 twice or you can just simply make your life super easy by taking your calculator 4 over 8 is equal to 1 over 2 and then from here we are going to convert this fraction into a percentage and how do we convert into a percentage you literally just multiply by a hundred so 1 over 2 multiplied by a hundred gives you this fraction as a percentage therefore Take your calculator, 1 over 2 multiplied by 100 is equal to 50 and you add your percentage sign. So the probability of buying any candle with a ribbon is 50% and that is your answer. Okay, and then write down the probability of buying a gold horse head candle without a ribbon okay so we're gonna go back to our diagram our tree diagram okay so it's important when you're actually working with probability um especially if you're working with a tree diagram that you actually make use of a pencil and an eraser to just help you in circling what you want or what is required or what the question is asking you okay so here we are obviously looking at a gold horse head candle without a ribbon what is the probability of buying a gold horse head candle without a ribbon so we're going to go to your horse head candle all right and they're saying that what is the probability of buying a gold horse head candle and then when we look at the color options for your horse head candle do we have a gold we do not right so that means that the probability of buying a gold horse head candle is zero I mean, sorry guys, this is actually A, okay, and your B, so the probability, so P stands for probability of buying a gold horsehead candle is equal to zero, okay, or you can say that it is impossible 
okay that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.